Hey everyone, this is Inka. Today I'm filming a very, very special episode for you guys. For this video, I will be eating only clear foods for 24 hours. All right, so here we go. This is the episode. I'm actually in Tokyo, Japan right now. Ta-da! That's the beautiful Tokyo Tower. So I know after having done some research that Japan actually has a lot of clear and translucent foods. So I am going to sort of include that under the umbrella of clear foods today. I don't wanna just be eating and drinking water all day. I am actually currently walking to the supermarket. I have a list of items that I want, but I'm also just going to check out what they have at the store. So really hoping this works out. Sugar candy. I think you can eat it just like this. Never seen this before, but this is like, almost like, it's like clear sesame oil. I don't know what it is, but I'll figure it out. This is clear. I feel like this daikon could come in handy. I'm not sure why it's clear, but it works. Found these liquid sugars. They're completely transparent. How cool does this look though? I'm at this matcha place, but I found this clear Coke. Kusumochi. Kusumochi. Yeah. There's this kusumochi. Uh, that is very clear. Mung bean noodles. And then I also found this. I know they become translucent. It uses salt candy. I'm on my way to the soy sauce specialty store that my friends at Tasty Japan told me about. I am super excited because apparently they have over 100 types of soy sauce. So can't wait to find this amazing clear soy sauce. So you get to sample it and I just tried some and it tastes exactly like normal soy sauce so I am shook. Morning everyone. So it is now daytime here in Tokyo. I am definitely still jet lagged. You guys know how normally I would eat fruits for breakfast. So there's a couple of fruits that are kind of like clear and translucent but apparently these types of fruits are not that common here in Tokyo. I was not able to find any of them so I'm afraid I won't be able to eat fruit this time around. I know it's not the best way to start the challenge, but I am also a little bit sick. So a warm cup of water was what I was going to drink anyways. <laughs> not my proudest moment. I'm really sorry, breakfast today is a little bit disappointing, but we do have a lot of really cool, interesting things lined up for the rest of the day. Now I'm going to go back to packing some things up. I've got a bunch of videos to shoot at the Tasty studio space today so um i'll see you guys there i am ready and on my way to work thought i would treat myself because i only had water this morning so i wanted to try that yuzu salt candy i bought here it is it's super clear i guess i'm just curious because it says there's salt in here too so oh yeah that's really good you do actually taste the specks of salt in there too i just got like a pocket of one and I really like it. The salt probably helps bring the sweetness out. I don't think you can ever really go wrong with handmade candy. This is exactly what I needed. So I made it to the office. I got lost a couple times. I actually took the wrong train this morning, but I'm here at Tasty Japan. Getting ready to make a clear lunch. I don't really know how this is going to go down at the supermarkets. There was a lot of things, a lot more things than you probably expected because I wasn't expecting to find half as many things as I did. I think the biggest challenge here is to make it into not just an edible meal, but like a, a, a tasty meal or a meal that is really good. Let's just see what we have to work with. We have a lot of stuff here. We have rice wrappers. We probably see this the most when we're eating, I think, Vietnamese cuisine. Clear soy sauce. I'm super excited to play with this. Some form of substitute for sugar. Rice vinegar. I was trying to find white vinegar, but this is what they had in the Tasty Kitchen. White sesame oil that I've never seen. Usually sesame oil is a dark brown, I would say. Pickled daikon. Because they've been pickled, they are much more translucent. Mung bean vermicelli. I think I grew up eating this quite a bit. Two types of sashimi. I don't know what kind of fish they are, so we're gonna ask Red to okay. help. This is a uh, madai, and this is a uh, hirame. It's kind of chewy, and this one is kawahagi. There isn't like a specific way to eat it. With uh, soy sauce and uh, wasabi. I can work with that maybe. Thank you. I don't think I've even ever seen this before. Super translucent. You can almost see through it. I'm not gonna be able to use the tuna in the middle because it's not clear. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of cook the noodles, cut up the daikon, marinate the sashimi a little bit, wrap them up with this. We have a bunch of sauces, so I think I can play around with that a little bit and we can take it from there. 
sweet, savory, sour, umami maybe. Let's try to make a sauce using these different condiments, starting with this clear soy sauce. I feel like if you covered this up and I didn't know what color it was, I would have totally thought it was just normal soy sauce. Because it's clear, I think I like forget that it's actually really salty. Vinegar. This doesn't smell like anything right now, but oh, I kind of want to taste it. It tastes just like simple syrup, so I think we're on the right track. Sugar, sesame oil. This is just a clear sauce and tasted a little bit. I feel like it's a little on the sweeter side, so I'm going to add a little bit more soy and a little more sesame oil. Yeah, I think that works. Now that I have this marinade, I can try to marinate them. This is what it looks like. As much as I want there to be wasabi, you can't use it because it's green. Can you guys see that? This is the fish. Oh wow. Crazy. Fish. These are all safe to eat raw, and that's why we're doing this. Put these in there. Whoa. Hard to believe that this is in water. Gonna set that aside. This is what the vermicelli looks like. It's actually translucent and not white. Gonna go ahead and toss that in. Can't even really see the noodles in there because it's so clear. But here are the noodles. Just going to rinse the noodles really quick. I think I've got most of the things prepped. It's time to do some wrapping. This is what they look like. It's literally just a clear sheet. If you wanted to pixelate your face, this is one way to do it. Right now it's kind of hard. So all you have to do is put it in warm water, just a few seconds. So you see how it goes in. I think that's good. And now it's even clearer than before, a lot floppier too. So I'm gonna set that down here. It's also a lot stickier now. Fish on here. I'm gonna sauce this a little bit, I think just with some soy sauce and sesame oil. Now to put some of these, add a little bit of daikon, just for extra flavor and texture. Okay, this is our first wrap. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a cocoon of sorts. Gonna make a couple more of these, and then let's serve it up. This is it. These are our clear spring rolls. You can see the vermicelli, the fish. I will say that it's a little more opaque now. There's a lot of things here that aren't completely like transparent. They're clear in a more translucent type of way. And when you put all those elements together, I, I, think, I guess they do appear a little more white on camera. I just have some soda water. This is our clear meal. I'm just gonna go right in for it. Really don't know what to expect. Hmm. There's a lot of flavors going on, I have to say. I think the marinade actually worked out pretty well. And because the daikon's pickled, the sweetness really adds a lot to it, but I'm really confused, so I'm gonna try that again. Now you can see the insides. It probably just looks like really bland food. In a way, I almost say it would be a very healthy way to have a meal. Considering what it looks like and what it tastes like, I think you would be pleasantly surprised. This is gonna be pretty quick for me to finish, but I actually also have a dessert for this meal. I know, usually it comes after dinner, but I think I actually found enough things, so I am going to bring in dessert after I finish this up really quickly. I was really looking forward to this. This is called the Kuzumochi. So this is actually a super popular traditional snack in Japan. Like you know how mochi is typically made of rice? This one's made out of kazuko, which is another type of starch. Mochi is usually white. This one is actually more of a translucent Color. This is usually served with soybean powder and a type of sweet syrup, but in my case today, we will not be using these for obvious reasons. In its place, I have actually bought this syrup. Ooh, I'm gonna scoop a bite out so you guys can see. So, whoa! Now that's satisfying. This is kind of the texture we're looking at. It's very jiggly. You can see the spoon through this. I'm gonna take a bite without putting syrup first. Mmm, it's already a little bit sweet. Oh, it almost looks like a raindrop cake. It's so jelly-like. I feel like I might have had it before because I've never actually eaten it as is. So this is super cool. I'm really treating myself here today. I have a lot to work on while I'm here, so I'm going to wrap this up really quickly and then get back to work. So I am taking 
a small break from work to actually work on the raindrop cake that I want to have for dinner. I think it takes some time to set in the fridge, so I'm gonna prepare it now and then hopefully be able to bring it home. Oh, but before that, I wanted to try a candy. This is Meltos candy. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. The last time I saw it actually was when I was doing um, Dragon Beard's candy. I'll be eating it as is, just like this little guy here. I think I need a toothpick maybe. This struggle is real. Oh, it's so sticky. It's not always this clear. This is super clear. I've seen this being served on streets before. Yo. Yeah. The perfect glob of sugar. Oh, I'm just playing with my food again. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Do you want this? Okay, sure. Look at my house. So sweet. Wait, I'm gonna show you. <gasps> this is like what kids eat. Festival or something. It's so good, but it's also so much sugar. Now that snack time is over, and now that I have sugar in my hair, I'm gonna get back to the raindrop cake. I'm just using the recipe from Tasty Japan. I'm gonna link you guys to the recipe I'm using in the description box below. This is actually the same pot they use in the video, so I can't go wrong with that. That's done. Gonna work a little bit more now. All right guys, so change of plans. I know I said I was gonna go home, but it's already dark out. It gets dark really early here. It's like already past dinner time and I'm really hungry. So I'm just gonna make dinner here since I have all the ingredients with me anyways. I was thinking of making something fairly quick. I also consulted with Red beforehand to make sure I wasn't doing anything too bizarre with the ingredients here. Condiments aside, we really only have three things. These cooked bean sprouts. Bean sprouts normally aren't that translucent, but after you cook them, they become pretty see-through. Over here, we have what they call tokoro ten. I really hope I am saying that right. This is again one of those things that is very common here in Japan. It is actually made from seaweed or algae. And then we have these little baby fishies called shirasu. It actually says right here that it's meant to be consumed raw. So that is also super interesting. I actually think I had this yesterday at a restaurant. You guys recognize the sugar substitute from earlier and the clear soy sauce, sake and mirin. They're both just like pretty common cooking wine. I'm probably gonna combine all of this to make a sauce. Let's make this work. We have the clear soy sauce first. Meeting, sake, sugar. Normally I can kind of see how much I want based on like the color of the mixture. Because everything is clear, it's kind of trippy. Just add a little bit of a taste. It's really hard to know how much that of anything when it just, look at how clear that looks. It's like I'm just boiling water. Bringing this to the stove top, reduce it a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna chop this up. There's a lot of water in this, so I'm gonna pour that out. Oh, it's so clear. It's actually already a noodle form. I couldn't even tell from the packaging. Whoa, this is so interesting. Wow. Let me try it. Hmm. I don't really think it smells like anything, but the texture of it, it's like a little softer than gelatin. It doesn't taste like gelatin though. It's a clear fish. Isn't that insane? Seafood. They actually start out translucent. It's just that after we cook it, it becomes opaque. This is what we have. This might look a little bit terrifying because you can actually see the little fishies, but I also grew up eating like little fishies like this with rice. Usually it's cooked. I've never had them raw like this. I'm excited to try it. The last thing to do really is just to drizzle on the sauce that I made. I'm just gonna cool it and then pour it over this. I am now ready for dinner. I haven't added the sauce yet. This is what the sauce ended up looking like. It's still very much clear. Can you guys still see me through it? There you have it. It's a clear bowl of noodles and fish and vegetables. It turned out pretty clear. I bet when this video first started, you guys had no idea what to expect. This is probably the last thing you had in mind. This is wild. Oh, also, here it is. I've heard of clear cola here, but I didn't actually expect to find it. I really want to start this meal off by drinking this. Yeah, it even smells like Coca-Cola. Try it. It kind of tastes a little bit more like cola candy, cola tasting products. It tastes like that. This is crazy. All right, so now for the main course. Apparently there are many ways to enjoy this. The packaging actually came with a sweet sauce, but you can eat it sweet or savory. Let's try this. 
The sauce turned out really good, and the little fishies are like little pockets of umami sprinkled through. I actually really like the fish. For people who are not a fan of like a more slimier texture, you probably wouldn't like it, but it's like sashimi. And then the bean sprouts are a nice crunch. I think the sauce I made was a variation of teriyaki. You wouldn't expect to see teriyaki in this color. This is still the coolest thing ever. So I'm gonna slowly work on this, and then we can finally get to dessert. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Let's see if I was able to do it. Shall we? You just... <laughs> I wasn't even able to slowly do it, but here it is. Oh my God. I did it. It's so beautiful. Wow. I have never made a raindrop cake before. I know it's just water and sugar, and there's no reason to freak out. But I'm so excited to eat it. I have my syrup from earlier. Oh, that's so cool. Super excited. I'm just gonna dig right in, you guys. <sighs> wow. The flavor really is just um, sugar and water, but the texture is so pleasing. I know this sounds crazy, but you can feel how jiggly it is as you're eating it. Mm, this is so great. This is the best thing to end on. It's super refreshing. I feel like I'm getting at least two cups of my eight cups of water per day. So I actually made two raindrop cakes for safety. And this one turned out even more amazing. This challenge, honestly, I thought it would be pretty much impossible. I thought I'd be drinking water, that's it. I can't stop eating this, I'm sorry. Um, I should stop. I think as I was shopping around here, I found so many more things than I thought there would be. That kind of blew my mind a little bit. It's always so amazing to see the different kinds of food from different cultures and like how when you're in different places, there's just so many more things to discover. This challenge was actually pretty insightful. It gave me this opportunity to try out different things, like things maybe outside of my comfort zone, maybe things that I've never even thought of trying before and felt like I learned a lot from it. I hope you guys did too. Now that I've finally done clear foods, let me know what else I should be doing, whether it's a different color, maybe a different challenge. I'm open to any ideas you might have, so let me know. Until then, see you guys. Bye.